The way media report stories about mental health can have a huge impact on the way we think and understand mental health. There's a lot of evidence out there showing that covering stories about suicide can lead to copycat suicides. The thing is, journalists might not even know the impact they're having on people. That's why, as leaders in this mission to change the way we think and understand mental health, we need to guide the conversation. So here's what we can do. When the media comes to us looking for an interview about a particular story, we must be aware about what's being said and how we are saying it. Might be about unleashed a noise, might be about a person who died by suicide. You see what I did there? Died by suicide. Not commit suicide. You commit a crime. You do not commit suicide. Suicide takes your life. When you're speaking to the media, protect the language you use. You're the one being quoted. If you say it, it can change the way they say it later on. Here's some do's and don'ts to consider. Do use facing mental health issues. Don't say mentally ill. When referring to a person who has a mental health disorder, don't make the person and the disorder synonymous. A person has an eating disorder. They are not the eating disorder. She is anorexic is not positive language. Oh yeah, and when talking about someone who died by suicide, don't discuss the method. Remember that copycat scenario I mentioned? We don't want to have anything to do with that. Hi Sarah, nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Sarah. When being interviewed by the media, control is key. Have a conversation with the reporter before the formal interview gets started. And remember, nothing is off the record unless a specific matter is agreed upon between the two of you. Before the interview, chat with the reporter and find out exactly what angle they're taking. And remember, news stories are reliant on sound bites. So Sarah, what are the signs of someone struggling from poor mental health? A person can often face mood swings, uh, withdraw, a change in behavior, or a change in sleep and eating patterns. Keep your message short, clear, and concise. But the biggest thing to remember is that the media is not out to get you. They're there to get your perspective. So work with them, not against them. Think of the media as an open door we can go through to access a huge audience. An audience that will likely include someone who's facing a mental health issue or knows someone who is. So when you go into that interview, be confident. You know what you're talking about. You do. So get the story you want out. Before doing that interview, check these websites out. They're helpful resources for statistics and other talking points. Help yourself unleash the noise.